another problem. Let's back to this amount, x squared plus 8x plus 15. We will get out our amount. First of all, we will get out x squared. And then we will get out what? Our units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We will place how many x's on the side? Always one. One and how much more makes eight? We will place our eight bars of x's right here below our one bar of x and we can see that it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. One and seven make eight. At this point, we will no longer place our units in the corner without determining whether or not they will fit. Here we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen will not fit in the corner, so we just as well not try. Only seven will fit in the corner. Since it doesn't work with one X on the side, we will try how many X's on the side? That's right. We will try two X's on the side. Two X's and how many more X's make eight X's? Two and how much more makes eight? Two and this much more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two and six makes eight. We place our sixth at the top. Now notice, we are not going to place our x's in the corner until we determine whether or not they will fit. At this point, we have been practicing our skip counting and we will skip count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fifteen will not fit in the corner. If it doesn't work with two X's on the side, how many X's will we try on the side? That's right. We will try three X's on the side. Three and how much more makes eight? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Three and one, two, three, four, five more makes eight. So we will place how many above? Five. Three and five makes eight. Here again, we will skip count before we place the units in the corner. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yes, it works with three on the side. We can now place our units in the corner. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. And notice, at this point, it would no longer be necessary to place the 15 individual units in the corner because we could now see that 3 by 5 equals 15 and we could get our rectangle that is named three by five and place it in the corner. This is a very important step. Once we have discovered that we can use our whole rectangle, we will no longer use the individual units. Once we have started to use the solid rectangles, 
it's very important that we spend a lot of time using these in games and other exercises. It is important that we spend more time dealing with these blocks than we spend within the books themselves. Our objective, of course, is to learn how to skip count effectively. Here we have two. Here we will learn how to count this rectangle by twos, two, four. Here we will learn how to count this one, two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. And notice with this piece we can do all of our skip counting. And here we can recognize that if this is 16, then this is just two more, which is 18. Here we recognize that if we know the one preceding, all we have to do is add two to the next. There are lots of games and exercises that the kids love to play and the thing that is exciting about the program is the children aren't even aware that they're memorizing their multiplication facts. Our multiplication facts are the greatest milestone in mastering mathematics. There is no concept that we will consider in this program that even a child can't understand. Our biggest objective, our biggest milestone to achieve is to help the child master his times tables from his one times tables to his nine times tables. I call this a milestone because it should take at least six months for the child to totally internalize and memorize his times tables without experiencing anxiety or frustration. And the child can do this easily by the time he or she is six years of age.